My name is Andreas Tünnermann. I'm a professor and chair for applied physics at Sophia Schiele University in Germany. And uh, I'm also director of the Fraunhofer Institute for Applied Optics and Precision Engineering. The Fraunhofer Society is uh, the biggest institution worldwide working in the field of applied research. And the mission of the Fraunhofer Society is in fact to support especially small or medium-sized companies in their research work to provide also access to um, specific infrastructure and of course uh, to work in technology and knowledge transfer to these small and medium-sized companies. My institute, the Fraunhofer Institute of Applied Optics and Precision Engineering, is working in um, optical system in the development of advanced uh, solutions in order to tailor light, to steer light, to switch light, to amplify light, for example. And uh, one topic we are addressing in the Institute is the development, for example, of uh, high power fiber lasers. Today, we, we are facing several challenges in, in the field of energy, in the field of health but also, for example, in the field of environment. And uh, sustainable solutions based on photonics, based on light, the application of light uh, can, of all, uh, can help in order to overcome these uh, challenges. And one specific uh, area, of course, uh, which is important for the next centuries is uh, to increase the efficiency in production, meaning to look for possibilities uh, to reduce the resources uh, applied in the production uh, process. This specific area, green manufacturing uh, or green photonics in fact for uh, manufacturing technologies is specifically uh, driven by the development in lasers and one unique to tool in fact which has been developed in the past years uh, was a fiber laser. So this specific system allows electrical to optical uh, efficiencies in the range of up to 30 percent or even higher in CW but also in pulse operation and uh, this is significantly higher compared to any other uh, laser solution uh, we have on the market today for manufacturing. So the application of these specific lasers will help us uh, to <clears throat> come to novel uh, products but also will help to reduce the costs uh, in the production due to a reduced energy and the reduced uh, uh, use of consumables in the production. Germany, Germany is well known for uh, its production uh, technology uh, for companies working in the field of advanced machinery and uh, of course a laser is uh, an important tool within these machines from point of today. And uh, several companies uh, started almost two decades ago uh, to <coughs> integrate these machines in these uh, uh, production machines and the combination of both the knowledge of uh, laser physics and the application of the lasers within uh, these machines uh, leads to the success of the German uh, production industry worldwide. We already have seen that um, high power lasers are now uh, applied for cutting and welding applications uh, at uh, different areas. And from my point of view, uh, the next, uh, next <coughs> step uh, will be the integration of uh, lasers, especially in the field of uh, micromachining, in the field of 3D micromachining. And for this application, uh, one really needs uh, ultra-fast lasers uh, with high average powers. And uh, in fact, we already face, uh, we are already facing this uh, pressure from the market, uh, from the production lines. Uh, so there's a strong push today um, <coughs> that we have to develop advanced solutions for ultra-fast lasers which are cost efficient and also energy efficient uh, and of course reliable uh, in the application. And here uh, fiber laser offer unique uh, properties. So most recently my group for example demonstrated uh, average powers in the range of about one kilowatt uh, with electrical to optical efficiencies comparable to the uh, efficiencies of CW lasers and on the other hand uh, we uh, have also been able to generate high peak powers in the range of several gigawatts uh, using advanced uh, microstructured optical fibers for the amplification of the light. Fraunhofer is not only working in the field of applied science, uh, we have a very tight link uh, to the universities 
And in my case, for example, I have about 150 people at the university and uh, roughly 200 people working at the Fraunhofer Institute. And the combination of both, uh, this is in fact uh, the advantage I have uh, in my kind of research. So we are working on more fundamental related questions at the university, for example, uh, building up new type of nano optics, for example, to improve the efficiency of uh, photovoltaics or to improve also the uh, efficiency of LED uh, chips. And on the other hand, uh, in Fraunhofer, we then try to uh, bring these type of nano optics uh, to, uh, to the industry to transfer via Fraunhofer to companies uh, like Bosch, like Osram, for example. Uh, to, <clears throat> of course, uh, support their development in these areas. I think this is a real advantage we have in Germany, that there is a strong uh, support by the government for our uh, production industry in Germany, uh, meaning that we have uh, started already a few years ago a roadmap uh, process uh, in collaboration between science and industry, resulting in the so-called Agenda uh, 2020. And this Agenda 2020 uh, addresses uh, all of these mega trends. Uh, in fact, for example, LED lighting technologies, uh, questions related to an efficient green production, uh, problems uh, in the area of uh, healthcare, for example. And um, <clears throat> in order to support uh, the uh, necessary uh, developments in the next years, uh, the German government is supporting collaborative research programs between science and industry uh, with about 50% uh, of the full costs. Uh, this results in fact to the situation that we will have for the next uh, years uh, roughly 100 million euros uh, to be spent every year for these type of collaborative research programs in Germany in the field of uh, advanced photonics.